Hey everyone, Jason here, host of the Bombcast, and I missed you guys last week. I was on vacation, but you were in good hands with Steve and Ethan, and I'm excited to be back. So thank you for joining us. Uh, for everybody that's on, welcome. I'm super excited about our guests today. We have Mel Melanie Gallia with us from Fort McMurray up in Canada, where she's gonna be dropping some serious knowledge on you guys. So drop your comments in, let us know that you're watching. Uh, before I say anything else, Melanie, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to everyone. Hey there, I am Melanie Gallia. I have been selling real estate in Fort McMurray for 11 years. And, um, and I love it. It's super fun. You may see my furry baby walk through once in a while. That's Jules. She thinks she's the star of the show, but she's not. Um, <laughs> I've been doing videos since I just had my five year anniversary, uh, in March. And I can thank Michael Thorne for that because I was at a, a Remax or a four conference, went in to, um, went into a, a seminar called putting wow in your listing presentation. And I walked out um, knowing I was going to do video mm. and felt for the first time that I was really empowered and that I could do it. And so my first video is like, it's just crap. It's such garbage. It's hilarious. Um, I can't even watch it now. So if you go to my YouTube channel and check it out, it's 204 Perry. It's so bad, but I just kept doing video and kept doing video and saw success in my business and it changed, um, because of that. And, mm. and now I'm addicted to the creative process of it and, that it is changing all the time. I'm, I embrace that. I like that because it's a challenge. I'll, I'll never master it, which, which works for my personality. I can right, see that right. people might get a little frustrated by that, but it's exciting, exciting times right now. So let's, you know, for anybody that's watching, you know, we're talking about how this episode, we're talking all about how you as an early video adopter are, are adding new tactics and we're going to be getting into those new tactics. So if you're watching, you're going to want to be hanging out with us for the next uh, 20 minutes or so uh, as we get into some of the tactical. But one of the things that I'm curious about is kind of as you think back to some of the early days and your use of video, where, where were some of those wins or what some of those things that really got you to this point? to feel like you've been committed to it for the last five years? Hands down, the results, mm. right? Like the results, the results are, I walk into a listing presentation and I rarely lose a listing. Mm. Um, you know, that's, that's the first thing. My marketing has, it, along with the video, my marketing is, a, a video is a huge part of my marketing and not a lot of agents are using it or they're not using it to the same capacity that I am. Mm. So then people know me. I walk in the door, they already know who I am. And that makes it so much easier to make a connection with people because they, they chose me and they see me because of the videos. So, um, yeah, hands down hands. And it's fun, you know, like it's, it's fun, especially doing the community videos, yeah. um, that, you know, connecting with local business owners and, and helping them improve their business, encouraging them. So, I mean, what it's, it's crazy what it's led to, you know, from doing one video where I literally had my cell phone MacGyvered with, <laughs> with, with hair ties to a tripod, no microphone. I was just like, I'm do like, no kidding. I'm doing video. So, um, it's kind of funny to watch that first video, but I just, I got addicted to the process. And then, and then I've also had the opportunity to teach local business owners, how to use social media and video in, in their businesses to help them get more business as well. So it's, I had no idea that that yeah. was going to happen, but that's what's happened. So those, those results started to happen. You started to see, and, and tell us a little bit about how kind of in the beginning stages, what types of videos were you sending out uh, that was causing you to get some of those results? Like what was the type of content that you were doing uh, yeah. and what were you really focused on? Um, the, the first was, was house tours. That's, that's where, that's where it started for me. And then, so that would have been 2013. I started doing that. And then by, I think by two, so I spent a while doing that and it took me a while to grow and get really, really comfortable from using my phone to using an iPad to film, to upgrading to a Canon T3i from iMovie to ScreenFlow you know, all those things take time and to learn how to do, but I was committed to the learning, committed and addicted to the learning process. I always like learning. So, um, you know, now I'm to the point that I have, I pay someone to edit. I'm still filming myself. I had a videographer for a little while, but 
you know, like you got to jive with someone really well, right? Like right. for an energy for someone to surrender to that. I liked it. I liked showing up and then it would just happen. I, yeah. I did like that. But it's, you don't start riding, you start riding a bike with training wheels. But it, but zoom in five years later, it's going to be easier for somebody. So in 2014, I did 30 videos in 30 days. And um, about local businesses. Okay. And, and so then, then I got addicted after that. And, and May 1st, 2016, I was launching a whole brand called Discover Fort McMurray. And, um, and so with Discover Fort McMurray, it, it was, again, I was going to do another 30 videos in 30 days, but I was also like committed to the brand, like really branding mm. it and not just have, cause I wanted these videos to be found and I wasn't finding that they were being as being found yeah so um but what happened was that i had to delay that a little bit because there was this fire thing that happened where right. a city of eighty-eight thousand people were evacuated for 30 days and 10 percent of the city was you know 2200 structures were you know yeah but just, when kind I, of a big deal. just no big deal right but when i came back that's when i started to use the app discover fort mcmurray with local businesses to let people what know know what was open get people connected, know, and, and just pushing the shop local campaign. So it's grown and the platforms have become, the platforms have changed too. And you really need to use the platform that you're on natively. So, so I wanted to talk about this, this idea of like, you're, you're obviously investing a lot into the community and mm -hmm. you're creating a lot of video for that. Uh, and for anyone that's watching, again, welcome. I saw a bunch of new people pop on. Uh, Bombcast episode 28, talking with Melanie Gallia about video tactics and new video tactics that she's applying. We're already getting into those tactics here. Just going to set the stage of kind of what she's been doing. Um, but, but, but tell me a little bit about the why. And, and we were talking about this the other day of kind of, you know, what's the reason that you're putting so much energy into the videos? Um, and how do you see this as a business objective that's helping you grow your business? I want to connect to people. So uh, this is, and I think this is why you're asking me. So if you're going to re reverse engineer your sale, and no matter what business you're in, you have to think about it. Okay. you got the client. Well, how did you get the client? Mm. Right? So my why is I want to connect with people. I want to connect with my community. I want to be known. I want to, I want my city. I want to, really, I want to discover Fort McMurray known by every single citizen in Fort McMurray. Mm. Why? Because it's embracing and showcasing the, the community. That's the first thing for that community type video. But for sales, and no matter what business you're in, people have to connect with you, right? So if we look at this backwards, and I can hear Gary, I listen to Gary Vaynerchuk podcast every day. So you may hear me incarnate, but I'm taking that, I'm taking to task what he's telling me, telling everybody to do. Like, yeah. this. So if we reverse engineer, people need to trust you. That's why they choose you. They choose you because they trust you. Before that, they have a connection with you. Mm. Before that, they like you. But before that, they need to know who you are in order for any of those next steps to happen. Mm. So you know, Gary talks about, you know, I'm just, I want people's attention. I'm, I'm going where the attention is. I'm going, where, so where's the attention? Um, Jared James talks about this and he's a real estate coach. And I've heard him say this, you know, we have to market the way people consume content. I'm kind of paraphrasing what he said, yeah. but you have to how are, pay attention. How are you consuming your content right now? Right now for me, it's, it's Instagram stories. Short, quick. My right. attention span is this is this big, you know. So I'm trying to to get there and 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 be that. Why? Because at the end of the day, I want my sellers home so fast. Yes. I want them. I'm in a buyer's market. It's been a buyer's market here for, since 2000, the end of 2014, hmm. and it has been some hard years here where the prices drop anywhere from 150 to 200 thousand dollars. I know there's lots of markets in across Canada and across the United States that, that have experienced the same thing. Right. We have to do more because the houses are on the market longer. So I think, I think what's interesting about kind of what you're speaking to there, and, and um, I just kind of look at some of these comments that are coming in as well, that's fascinating is this idea of, so you're kind of talking about reverse engineering the cell, and that's yeah. kind of reverse engineering the know, like, and trust, right? And so you think about the knowing piece, and mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what industry you're in, how are you known? 
and how are people going to know of you? And especially in the changing landscape of real estate, it's a lot less about the real estate itself that you're known by because of the, the there's so many factors to, to why that landscape has changed, but it has. And it's changing for a lot of industries that are out there. How do people know of you? If you're in sales, they first have to either know about your product or they have to know about you. And the best way to create that knowing is by creating content that they can consume yeah. that's meaningful to their lives that yeah. may not have anything to do with the actual product that you're selling. Absolutely. And, and I think that's why community videos and all the work that you're doing there is so key is an important tactic for people to begin to really apply to their business. Because at the end of the day, like if they don't know you, then they can't decide whether they like you and then ultimately decide whether they're going to trust you to, to help them in whatever it is. Yeah the transactions leading to, right? The sales yeah. the business that's happening in that space. So tell us a little bit about, so the tactics of knowing, and that's a lot of what you're applying now of mm -hmm. how people know you, how people connect with you. Yeah. What are some things that you've been doing lately that's kind of getting you more known in your community? I'm, I'm really embracing Instagram stories. My marketing manager was on me early, like early spring about using Instagram stories. I'm like, what is it, right? And so in Fort McMurray, um, Facebook is bigger than Instagram, but I think in a lot of other cities, Instagram is bigger than Facebook. And, but I think now with Instagram TV, that's gonna be a game changer for Instagram. And I really think so that- Just real quick to explain yeah. to everyone that maybe doesn't know, what, okay. Instagram TV, what did they come out with? Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so last week, Thursday, I know exactly where I was. I was in an Airbnb in Toronto on my way to take a course with Valerie Garcia about story storytelling. If you get a chance to take that class, I highly recommend it because marketing is storytelling. Mm. So what Instagram TV is, it's a whole separate app. It's all vertical video, or it can be sideways video too, but most people are engaging with vertical video on Instagram stories. Mm -hmm. It means this way, not right. this way, right? So you can have videos now up to 10 minutes. So the way that I'm embracing it right now is I'm doing a couple of things. Every single Wednesday, I do Facebook Live open house. Then I flip over and which, so with that Facebook Live, I don't do open houses anymore. I hate them. Um, I don't think that they're effective. I don't think that they're an effective use of the client's time either mm -hmm. in Fort McMurray. That's yeah. all I'm going to say. So in, when I do an, in a live open house, what I do is I get four kicks at the cam instead of two, mm -hmm. four, not two, four, not two, four. Okay? <laughs> You're doubling Actually, it. Five. You know what? I'm getting five. I'm getting six now. Okay. Let me blow your minds. So Instagram, Facebook live open houses. I get to advertise the events. I get to do the events. It becomes an evergreen video. Okay. Then I download that from my phone and I upload that to YouTube. Four things. Now, Instagram, Instagram stories, I can put it on, which lasts for 24 day, four hours. I am in control of my feed on Instagram because on Instagram, Facebook, the almighty algorithm, Meaning Facebook and Instagram control goes into your feed. Right, but for right. 24 hours, they're not controlling that. Okay. So now I can use those Facebook Live, download them, and I can put them into Instagram TV for, for videos up to 10 minutes. Instagram is wanting to compete with Netflix mm -hmm. and with YouTube. Not so much, sorry, not so much Netflix, but definitely YouTube. I think we're right. going to start seeing mini TV shows and stuff like that on Instagram TV. And right now they're not doing ads because they were trying to encourage engagement, but yeah. you know, it's coming. Yep. You no know, so, hands down. So it's going to be, it's going to be a whole new ad stream. And I think the thing that, you know, as we've been looking at it and we're thinking about Instagram TV and again, anybody that's thinking about video, um, it might be something to adopt. Again, I think something that's really important for anybody that is watching is just because a platform comes out with a new uh, process or product does not mean you have to jump onto it. Right. If you're not into it and you don't like it, that's fine. Yeah. But I think the opportunity here is now for uh, anybody to really begin to think about education uh, and Instagram to be a place of education. I mean, I think uh, one of the best things about YouTube is that one of the most searched words in YouTube is how to fill in the blank. And YouTube is now a search engine for mm -hmm. valuable information. Uh, and I think beginning to think about Instagram is becoming a place of a, of a resource 
education. And so I think for regardless of your industry, but again, think about where you begin to educate people. Yeah. TV is going to become a key way to do that because it is evergreen. It always lives on your page. It doesn't go away. And you can begin bringing real value where people are going to sit down and engage with you for minutes, right? I think right now the cap is 10 minutes. I'm sure that'll probably change at some point in the future. But when you think about the power of that to, to have someone's attention um, in a place where there aren't ads right now, you yeah. aren't competing against the, the channel of a bunch of cat videos like YouTube or Jimmy Fallon videos or all the other noise that's there. It's a pretty interesting thing to, to begin thinking about on that side of things. So drop in some, some questions, curious, you know, people are, are, if you're using Instagram TV, are you thinking about this? Uh, looks like Jamie's already set up her channel, put up some videos there. Um, someone was just asking, when is it out? It's already available. If you don't see it in your app, just go into the app store and refresh it. Uh, the other interesting thing Instagram just dropped yesterday is video chat. Yes, I saw that. Video chat inside of Instagram with up to four people. I think the interesting thing, you can do that on, you know, FaceTime and other spaces, but it's an interesting way to engage with your audience, I think, um, and be able to to have that chat element. So it'd be interesting to see kind of where things go on that side Mm -hmm. of things. So, okay. Love this. We want to talk about the coming scene. We want to talk about the coming scene. Yes, yes. And let's show show the example. Yeah. So let's okay. clean this up. We want to show you guys an example of, of what Melanie is doing. So you actually see a video. So why don't you kind of tee up the video and then we're going to talk over it um, so that- Oh, not this one. It's only 15 seconds. 15, oh, perfect. Okay, so tee yeah. this up for us. Wow, wow, wow. This house is so beautiful. Check it out. It's coming soon, coming soon. All right, so we're back. So tell us a little bit about what you were doing there. Okay, so this is before I even realized all the different features and I was just fooling around with, this is the very first time that I started doing like a story. And so again, Leanne, my marketing manager, like you gotta use it, you gotta use it, gotta use it. So I did a coming soon, super cute house, character home. Um, My clients let me run a coming soon campaign. I put that out on like Friday and the, the house wasn't hitting the market until Tuesday. So an agent that follows me, local agent follows me. She's like, I love that house. I've got clients for it. Can you get me in this weekend? Yeah, mm-hmm. totally. Then I ran a Facebook dark post land bomb bomb landing page on Facebook. Got two more showings that way. A second showing from the first people that saw it. So four showings and an offer by Monday evening. It hits the market Tuesday. Tuesday night, I get, an, I get a message from an agent saying, I, I want to see it Saturday. I'm like, girl, you can't wait. I've already got an offer on the table. Here's the listing video. Show your client uh, my YouTube video of it. Um, she booked the appointment. I got my clients into multiple offers, um, got, them over, got them way more for their house than they were originally quoted. And the crazy thing is I was in competition with another agent for this listing. Hmm. And my, hands down, my marketing sold their house for them fast. So in 14 days, their house was sold. And what's like the average time of market right now in your area? We're, we're looking like 60 to 90 days. Wow. Right. And it's and so there's like seven, eight months of inventory right now. It's a buyer's market. Yeah. Right? So it was pretty exciting to uh, to bring that opportunity to my clients. And I didn't have to go through a ton of showings and and all that sort of stuff. So, I mean, between, and now I'm starting to really go hard with the dark post landing. And not so, everybody understands that terminology. Do you want yeah, to so, And the question's already come up. So let's just talk about this process really quick. So um, she, so Joanna was asking, what do you mean by bomb, bomb, dark post and Facebook? So um, does it first explain how you're using bomb, bomb in this process? What's that function for yeah. you? Okay, so how I'm using BombBomb is that I will run a, an ad on Facebook with a, with, a, with a tag that you can click for more information, which takes, so I bought a, like a ton of, I probably have about 85 web, different web domains. And so what I'll do is like, um, I will then, once they type their email in and all I ask for is their email address and I give them teaser information. I don't give them the price. I do tell them what the location is, and then once they get the information, they get the listing tour video and all the other information about the house. So then, what I so the land what I'm using BombBomb for is 
the forms for people to fill out, which is, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to use. I'm hoping you guys are going to make it even easier. It's in the plans. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, the second thing is um, the, the landing pages, right? Like just using the landing pages in the email. So then I see, I can see when people open it. I can see how many times they looked at it. And then I've got a list and I use Top Producer. So that list automatically goes into my, uh, my feed or into my Top Producer. Mm -hmm. And um, so the cool thing with that is that the, with, with it going into the feed like that, I, it goes automatically into my contacts. Then I separate those contacts into the address. So when I do a price change, I can message them. There's a house in the market. Let them know about that too. This, they might be interested in this property. So there's so many different opportunities that I have because of this. And it's not costing me a lot of money to get yeah. leads. And so just to, to one other thing, I'll just clarify. So with Facebook, um, you, you might hear the idea of dark posts or with your ads, really what you're doing when you're running an ad and you, you set it up to the target audience that you want, you can set it up in such a way that your audience doesn't see that ad. And that's effectively what a dark post is doing is it's ensuring that it's showing up. Let's tweak it because you said your audience, your it's not posted on your Facebook page. Exactly, it's not showing up in your feed. It's showing up in their feed, yes. so that way you're not bogging down your news feed with a bunch of stuff uh, that other people might be seeing uh, that don't want to see it because it's not the relevant audience that you're communicating with. So that's just a key thing to to note there. Um, and of course, within Bomb Bomb, our forums give you the ability to capture people's information. You can be as simple as an email address. You yeah. get involved as we're seeing some people who are using it uh, to set up uh, buyer consults where you're asking all the questions that you would want to know from somebody before ever meeting them. And you can yeah. fill in all that information. And uh, just the other thing I want to clarify is that with BombBomb, you know, when you go buy a URL, you can go to GoDaddy. Uh, it's probably the easiest place to do it. When you go buy a URL, you can actually mask that URL to redirect to any website that you want. Yeah. And so, okay. sorry, we're in the weeds, but I know this is important for some people on the technicalities of how this works. So BombBomb gives you a, a unique URL for your form. So it's a unique URL and you basically mask that underneath the bot URL. So if you buy 1234mainstreet.com, uh, you don't have to go build a web page for 1234mainstreet. Exactly. You can actually mask it to redirect to a bomb bomb landing page or a bomb bomb form. Um, yeah. And so that way you can advertise your unique URL. And this is a great tactic that honestly, we've been seeing people do for years. And yet I don't think there's a lot of mass adoption to it uh, because of just some of these little nuances. So if you're paying attention and you're watching, this is incredible ways. And again, it doesn't have to be real estate specific. You could buy a URL for anything. Um, oh, for sure. Yeah, and redirect it to another site, uh, and you can choose to use a, a bomb bomb URL that we give you. So any email that you create is effectively a landing page. Uh, we give yeah. you a unique URL, so you can you can create a video and put build it there, or you can use one of our our landing pages. So I use this all I use this all the time, the, all the time. The only other thing I wanted to talk about with Instagram is the yeah. the importance of location tagging in mm -hmm. your stories. Um, can you play the, the other video? Yep. Let's, let's, so we're going to play another video here. Um, and we're, we're going to talk over this one. There's no audio on it. So it's rolling. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing here, Melanie. So I use an app called Cut Story to break up my Instagram stories. And then at least then I put that resize or the cut up stories because Instagram stories only lets you have 15 seconds. Then you can tell that I'm, that I'm, G, that I'm location tagging. And it's one of the options um, Instagram really rewards you for using more of those like giphys, location and tagging, hashtagging, because people can search with that. So in stories, you'll see that there's, um, you can look at, like, if you're going to be going to, to Paris, France, you could go to Instagram location, see the location line and see what's going on with the local people. So I'm getting the great thing about Instagram stories is that you're in front of you are for 24 hours are in control of your feed. Not Instagram, mm. not Facebook. You're in control of your feed 100%. So I'm getting in front of people like five, 600 people a day for free, right? It takes my time. You either have time or money to spend on your marketing. And if you don't have money, you have time. And there's no excuses that you don't have 10 minutes to just produce something like this. Mm. So, and then I put those into the highlights. It's a little more techie than I can. And 
you know what? I'm just having fun. I'm trying to think outside the box. Now, some marketers don't like this, but I am whipping spaghetti out the wall and stuff is sticking. Right. Stuff is sticking because well, people want to know I'm working for them. Exactly. Because it's, again, back to what we were saying a little bit ago. And if you're just joining us, welcome. I uh, saw a couple people join. Uh, so thank you for being here, chatting with Melanie. Uh, and, but I think what you're talking about, about the idea of throwing things against the wall to see what sticks, this is about that knowing, like what's ultimately going to get you more known in yeah. your respective areas. And I think the key thing about this that everybody has to keep in mind is that you're not going for virality here. You're not trying to go and get, uh, produce a piece of content that's going to be viral, that's going to be seen all over the place. You're talking about being known in your local market center. And that's the number one thing. And until you can figure out what that is, yeah. you won't know. And so you do have to try a bunch of stuff. You got yeah. to be consistent. You got to be consistent with the marketing that you're putting out there. You got to be consistent with the content that you're putting out there. It doesn't have to be original content. I've been saying this recently. Uh, and and I, I think it's, it unlocks something for that a lot of people get hung up on is that they get so hung up on creating original content that they don't know what to do. And it's not about original content. Because honestly, that's what everyone's saying right now. So you got to go create original content, original content. But there is no original content. Every single idea has already been done. So don't get hung up on that. It's about you content. You are what makes the content original. Because you have your unique spin that you're putting yeah. on it. You have your unique view. You are what makes it original. So don't get hung up on this idea that I got to go do something that's never been done before. Reverse engineer what everyone else is doing. Right. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Just it, make it yours. It, you got to make it yours. And once you make it yours, it becomes original content. And you don't know the next piece that you put out, how it's going to help you be known. Uh, one of the things that when we were, you talked about Gary Vaynerchuk, and, and we're going to be giving this away. So hang out with us a little bit longer. If you don't know, we're doing a giveaway over the course of the next several weeks. We've got all of Gary's five books signed by the man himself on the inside cover. We have our winner for today. Uh, if you want to get entered in, you head over to Instagram, like our page there, bomb, bomb HQ. Uh, and then you want to join the bomb cast newsletter. We'll drop those links in. So in the future you can, uh, uh, be entered in. We got three more books to give away. Sorry. little side note there coming back to what I was trying to say about Gary V or that I love, uh, when we were with him a few weeks ago, or maybe it's months ago now, but he's having this idea that he is positive that he has lost some of his best content because of the sheer amount of content that he's putting out there. Meaning uh, his, his guys who's following around all the time, D-Rock and Babin, there is little videographers. He knows there's lines that he's dropped that would have made him more viral than he currently is that purely just got lost in the sheer amount of volume that he's put out there. And what he was saying is you never know what piece of content is going to make you more right. known or not. Yeah. And so you've got to keep going. You can't stop. And I think that's what you're doing and these new tactics that you're bringing in of what's going on with Instagram stories, how you're using hashtags um, are, are really kind of some of those things that are pushing you forward and driving you to, to be better and to be more known in your area. Tell me now, what are you doing around community videos as, as we kind of wrap things up, but yeah. what's new for you or what's next when it comes to some of the branding that you're doing in your area? Um. So one thing, and just Gary Vee says this, it's deep, not wide. Mm. So remember that people don't worry about how many followers you have. It doesn't matter. Just go deep with them. So community video, um, working hard to get a weekly show out, like a weekly episode of discover for McMurray, where I'm sure like I book time every Wednesday, mm. my new assistant will be fully trained soon. So I know that, um, yeah, I'm just having a great time. Um, I just did an episode with a local uh, a local shop owner, Natalie from Absolute Serendipity, who painted my front door. Talk about right. how to, right? Yeah. My front door is now this blue green or green blue with a you know with a little debate over that. But then, so just last night we did a live video, and oh my goodness, if you see how we like Jerry rigged that up, I felt like it was my first video all over again. <laughs> um, but she's going to be painting her kitchen cabinets, and we talked mm. about the process of that and how you know coming from the perspective of, of me as a real estate agent, you know, lipstick and rouge, like it's such a cost effective and it saves people. So I'm going to help people save money, show them how she's going to show them how easy it is to do. She's going to show them, you can get it right here in Fort McMurray and for 200 bucks, you can transform your kitchen. 
Mm. $200 versus spending $50,000, $70,000 to do a kitchen with you. So that's sort of a fun side project. What I really want to do is like a real estate show. So once my, like I said, once my assistance trains, I'll be hitting you guys up to uh, learn how to use Wirecast a little bit, but like learn how to use it and, yeah. uh, and just showcase the community, whether it's, okay, take the time to paint your front door or you're, you're listing your house. Like, let's clean. Let's clean up your front door because your front entrance says everything. Or seasonal stuff. Like, how do you change a, a furnace filter? You know, that's not new. But right. Melanie Gallian doing it new is right. going to be, is, is going to, I'll try to make it interesting. You know, it's not hard to do these things, but it is important. And then, well, you know, whether I interview a local home inspector or, you know, there's mortgage rule changes, which happens all the time here in Canada, it seems like, whether it's interest rate increase or I just want to be, I want to be the local expert. And I also want to be the social mayor, the go-to for, I need this. Melanie, who do you know? Yeah. I love connecting people. I love, love connecting good people to good people. That's awesome. Love it. Love it. Michael Thorne just popped on. Hey, Hello, Michael, Michael Thorne. Thorne. Good to see you, sir. Thank okay, you. Okay, shout out to him because I wouldn't be where I am doing video, having the opportunity to share, paying it forward if it wasn't for Michael Thorne. So oh, no. I got to see him last week, very briefly in Toronto. Love that guy. Love what he's doing. Oh, him and Jesse Peters, adore them. Right. Making, making changes out there for people, leaving a legacy of uh, getting a bunch of us in to video in deeper ways than we ever thought possible. So if you got questions, pop them in. We'll hang out. We're going to kind of wrap things up here, though. I do want to announce our winner of Jab, 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 Right Hook, signed by Gary B. Her name is Jessica Himmer. Jessica, I don't know if you're watching or not, but this is yours. We'll be mailing it to you. If you want to be entered into winning, uh, and we've got three more books uh, we're giving away. We got, we've given away Crush It and now Jab Jab. So that means we have Thank You Economy, Crushing It, and... Thank uh, oh. oh, and Ask Gary V. That's the third book, Ask Gary V. So uh, we'll put the information up. You head over to the Bombcast uh, website, sign up for the newsletter. We won't spam you. We'll send you important information, updates, upcoming guests that we're going to be interviewing on the show, as well as head over to Bomb Bomb HQ on Instagram, like our page there. That's what you need to do. If you've already done those things, you've already entered to win, and we will continue to randomly select someone each week until all five of our signed books are given away. So thank you guys. Uh, thank you for uh, joining us. Um, Can I tell people about the website? Yes, please do. Okay, so um, I've got a bunch of videos. So I've had the opportunity to teach some local businesses, and if you're, there's some videos um, of of screen recordings of what I do to do, there's no voice on them, but what I do to uh, do Instagram ads, to do Facebook ads, how uh, I'm using Instagram. So you can see a couple of examples. Canva is on there, the opportunity for free, um, free graphic design. Uh, go to, can you type this in so people can yep, see? Yep, this? yeah, the okay. team will type it in. All right, using my superpowersforgood.com. Ooh, like that URL. Isn't that fun? I know, right? That's something I say all the time. I used to say that to my stepdaughter. Are you using your superpowers for good today? <laughs> Dig it. Cool. So pop that in. People can go there, get more resources from Melanie. Melanie, where can they go to follow you? What's your Instagram handle, yeah. your Facebook page so people can see what you're doing? Uh, yeah. Like I said, remember, this is about reverse engineering content. So awesome. these ideas are out there. It's about how you do them. Uh, so where can they go to see what you're doing? Uh, you can find me at Melanie Gallia, G-A-L-E-A, -E Remax, um, on Instagram, on Twitter, I'm Melanie G Realtor, on Facebook, don't like my page though, just creep it because of the almighty algorithm. I'm also on YouTube, you just type my name in and uh, and and you'll hopefully, and type in Melanie Gallia and Fort McMurray, there's some famous photographer named Melanie Gallia in Europe with the street views, that's not me, I'm the Canadian Melanie Gallia. <laughs> So I love, and listen, reach out. I've had, and I just want to thank the team at BombBomb Bomb for a couple of things. Mm. You guys have definitely helped my business, you know, and, and, and I'm not getting paid by you guys. I'm getting a little like whatever. This is, I have been using you guys since 2013 or 14 mm -hmm. and it's helped my business immensely, making connections, sending like, I can't imagine my business without BombBomb, Bomb, quite frankly. Your customer service is ridiculous. They're a pretty it's solid over. team over there. It's 
un- unbelievable. And watching you guys grow, like it's like well, it's it's blowing me away from where you were to where you are now and where you. I know what's coming. Yeah. I can't wait to see what's coming. I can't wait for it to be officially out. But I am so grateful for your team, and I love everyone on your team. You know, like everybody is just like. They're freaking awesome. Yeah. So well, thank you, Melody. Time. That means that means a ton. It's people like you. It's customers that are watching. And even if you're not a customer, thanks for engaging with us. It's this community that we care so much about. It's why we do what we do and why we love our jobs. And people show up here. Day, oh, day you out. can totally tell. And so my other thing, last thank you is this. Thank you for uh, nominating me as a video influencer. I so appreciate that. Yes. That meant so much to me. Um, community video would be a really great category for me next time. Much, much. Very, and very. Uh, and thank you for inviting me to be a panelist at our floor with you with with uh, right. Jesse Peters, Pinky, and Steve because that was a whole lot of fun. And people reach out still all the time asking. I'm available for help. Just ask, and I'm more than happy to steer you in the right direction. And I love hearing that I've inspired somebody to do something mm-hmm. because again, it's a thank you to Michael Thorne and just it's it's good news to pay it for. Yeah. Yep. Well, thank you. Thank you for your time today. Thank you very much for watching. Next week, we are going to be taking a break of the Bombcast being the 4th of July week. So we will not be live next week, but we will be back the following week. Trust me, we've got some incredible guests coming up that we are getting lined up. Uh, Coming up, we've got uh, a longtime BombBomb customer in the financial space that's absolutely crushing it. You're going to want to pay attention to his tactics because he's doing some things that honestly we haven't seen anyone else doing effectively in their businesses. So you wanna jump in on that one. And then we have Alex McFadden coming on the week after that. He is our mortgage influencer overall winner. So regardless of whatever industry you're in, you're gonna wanna join, see the tactics that he's doing, how he's applying it to his business and absolutely changing what he's doing in the mortgage space through video. So thank you everybody for being on. Have a wonderful 4th of July week and we'll see you guys in a couple weeks. And again, thank you, Melanie, for being on. Have a great rest of your day. See you guys.